good morning everyone uh, today's topic is winding number and this topic plays an important role in complex analysis so let's understand what is winding number so before going to the definition of winding the winding number let me tell you actually what is this suppose this blackboard this blackboard is our whole complex plane okay and in this complex plane we have a point suppose this is a point alpha this is a point alpha and around the point alpha there is a curve there is a curve suppose this is our curve gamma and there is a particular property of this curve this curve will be number 1 differentiable differentiable and number two, this must be closed. Okay, we can find the winding number only for closed and differentiable curves. Now, winding number is that the number of times that the curve gamma winds around the point alpha. I am repeating, winding number is that the number of times the curve gamma winds around the point alpha. So, in this figure, what will be our winding number? That will be one. Because here the curve gamma winds around the point alpha only one time. Now, suppose I am drawing an, another figure. This is our point alpha. And the curve gamma is like in this way. OK? So this. Here the curve gamma winds around the point alpha two times. So here the winding number will be two. Similarly, if I draw an, another graph like this, and here the curve gamma winds around the point alpha three times. So here the winding number will be three. And in this way, there will be infinite number of winding numbers. Now the question is, how we can find out the winding number. There is an important formula and we denote it by n gamma alpha. That means winding number of the curve gamma with respect to the point alpha, okay? And n gamma alpha, this is equals to one by two pi i integration over gamma dz by z minus alpha. This is the formula of winding number. Now, what will be the definition of winding number? Let's see the definition. Let gamma be a differentiable, differentiable, closed closed curve and alpha be a point on the complex plane c okay and this point alpha will be on the point c but not on gamma okay not on gamma then then the winding winding number winding number in gamma alpha in gamma alpha of gamma with respect to alpha okay is defined by is defined by the integral integral that integration in gamma alpha equals to 1 by 2 pi i integration over gamma dz by z minus alpha. Okay. Now, let me give you an example. Suppose, suppose, <clears throat> 
uh, let gamma gamma is equals to such that gamma theta is equals to z and z minus alpha is equals to r e to the power i theta okay where theta runs from 0 to 2 k pi and k is a positive integer k is a positive integer okay so gamma is the curve gamma theta gamma is a function of theta where z gamma depending on z such that z minus alpha this is equals to r e to the power i theta and theta runs from 0 to 2 k pi and k is positive integer now in this case what will be our uh, winding number okay so first of all what is gamma in gamma this point alpha is within the curve gamma that means like this okay if this is gamma then this will be our alpha now let's calculate this integral part integration gamma dz by z minus alpha so integration gamma dz by z minus alpha this is equals to integration here theta runs from 0 to 2k pi so this will be 0 to 2k pi and dz here z minus alpha this is equals to r e to the power i theta so dz equals to i r e to the power i theta by z is equals to this is z minus alpha here z minus alpha is equals to r e to the power i theta t theta okay and if we integrate this we will get here r r cancelled out e to the power i theta e to the power i theta cancelled out so we will get 2 k pi i okay now if we simplify this then what we are getting k is equals to 1 by 2 pi i integration over gamma dz by z minus alpha so this is our this k this is our winding number now i have a question here this direction the direction of gamma this is anti clockwise that's why here k is positive integer if k is negative integer in that case the direction will be in clockwise direction in this clockwise direction okay for anti clockwise direction the winding number will be positive and for clockwise direction the winding number will be negative now i have a question here i have drawn some figures here i have drawn some figures now if this point alpha is on the curve gamma is on the curve gamma then what will be the winding number in that case the winding number will be zero okay and if this point alpha is out of this gamma okay suppose this is our alpha then in that case and this is our suppose this is our curve that means the point alpha is out of this curve in that case the winding number n gamma alpha that will be zero okay so the point alpha that must be within the curve gamma okay so this is the simple concept of winding number i think this video will be very beneficial for you if you like this video then please share it with your friends thank you